Thanks for tuning in, everybody. My name is Brock Page, and you might be surprised as to who I'm picking in March Madness today. If you just can't wait and you want to save yourself some time, check out my picks for this video in the description section below. Once again, I have to remind you that I am not a sports betting expert, nor do I implore you to take any of my picks. A wise man once said, good ain't free and free ain't good. If for some reason you decide to use the free information on this program, you're utilizing it at your own discretion. And with that said, let's get into some picks for the 17th. Michigan State plus one and a half versus Miami. Total jumped up half a point to an even 126. Currently, Miami's laying 125 on the money line. And at the moment, 55% of the money's on the U to get the job done. Speaking of the U, they struggled against the number as of late, failing to cover in three of their last four games. They're also covering just 30% of their games as the favorite and just 33% at the current point spread. When it comes to the total points, both teams have collectively averaged 127 total combined points in their last four games, respectively. All that said, I'm in full disagreement with the betters, and I'm taking Michigan State plus one and a half, getting the job done against the spread. On the total points, I am in full agreement with the betters there, and I'm taking the over 126. And when it comes to the money line cash, I'm taking Michigan State winning this one outright. I'm also adjusting the line and taking Michigan State plus 11 and a half as the first pick in my 10 point super teaser. Next game, 15 seeded Northern Kentucky is plus 20 versus the number two Kentucky Wildcats totals at 154. Currently the Wildcats are laying 5,000 on the money line. And at the moment, 61% of the betters think the Kentucky Wildcats can cover this massive spread. Speaking of massive spreads, Kentucky games have had many of those, and unfortunately for the better, the Wildcats just don't seem to cover. Along with failing to cover in two of their last three, the Kentucky Wildcats covered just 35% of their games away from home. In addition to that, Kentucky covers a pitiful 22% versus teams allowing 67 to 72 points a game. On a lighter note, Kentucky games have gone under the total posted points in three of their last four. All that said, I'm once again in full disagreement with the betters, and I'm taking Northern Kentucky plus 20, getting the job done against the spread. When it comes to the total points, I'm taking the under 154. And when it comes to the money line cash, I'm taking the Kentucky Wildcats winning this one by about 19 points. I'm also adjusting the line, and I'm taking Northern Kentucky plus 30 as the second pick of my teaser. Next game, number 10 Marquette versus number 7 South Carolina in a pick 'em. The total dropped five and a half points all the way down to 142 and a half. And at the moment, 65% of the betters think Marquette will get the job done against the number. Speaking of getting the job done, Marquette successfully covered the spread in two of their last three games. They're facing a South Carolina team who covers just 27% of their games on the road. They've also covered just three of 11 contests versus teams around 500. In addition to that, the Gamecocks have failed to cover in three of their last four games. When it comes to the total points, Marquette's last three games have all gone over the total posted points. All that said, I got to side with the betters in this one, and I'm taking Marquette getting the job done in the pick'em. When it comes to the total points, I'm in full disagreement with the betters, and I'm taking the over 142 and a half. I'm also adjusting the line and taking Marquette plus 10 as the third pick of my 10-point teaser. Next and final game for the show, number 14, Kent State versus number three, UCLA. The betting opened up with UCLA as the 17-point favorite with the total at 161.5. Since then, UCLA is now minus 18.5 against the spread with the total jumping up to 162.5. The Bruins are heavily favored, laying 4,000 on the money line, and at the moment, 66% of the money is on UCLA. Speaking of UCLA, we're still waiting for them to get the job done. They're covering just 33% away from home in just 6 of 20 games as the favorite. Even worse, UCLA is just 7-14 and 14 against the number in all games overall. More recently, UCLA's failed to cover the spread in their last three straight games. They're facing a Kent State team who's covered an incredible 9 out of their last 10 games. They're also covering a solid 73% as the official road underdog. On a side note, both teams' games have gone under the line in three of their last four contests, respectively. All that said, I'm in full dis uh, disagreement with the betters, and I'm taking Kent State plus 18.5, getting the job done against the spread. 
On the total points, I'm also in full disagreement with the betters. And I'm taking the under 162 and a half. And when it comes to the money line cash, I'm taking the UCLA Bruins to win this one outright by about 18 points. I'm also adjusting the line and taking Kent State plus 28 and a half as the fourth and final pick of my 10 point teaser. Just a reminder, my 10-point sweetheart super teasers pay 5-6 to six and get graded as a loss should any game result in a push. You can find this exotic wager in several online sports books and in the state of Delaware. Well, folks, that is going to do it for me. Once again, I have to remind you that I am not a sports betting expert, nor do I implore you to take any of my picks. A wise man once said, good ain't free and free ain't good. For some reason, you decide to use the free information on this program, you're utilizing it at your own discretion. Most importantly, if you're betting any of these games, do it safe, do it responsibly, and most important, have fun. For Brock Page Predictions and Sports Picks, I'm Brock Page, and have yourself a positive day.